Hi everybody and welcome to a short top tip video. I was recently communicating with some long time Cinema Folder users online and I was quite surprised to hear that none of them actually had heard before how you can actually make selections, material selection sets on primitive objects. So you can actually um, add materials just to certain areas of primitives. Because as we all know, with generator objects, we do actually have the ability to um, set materials to the caps, the uh, fillets, and the actual body of the generated, um, in this case, an extrude object. And if you can see, if we just start dragging a few materials on, and in this case, what I'm going to do with this green material, in this attribute manager, I'm going to say, C1 and it's important to use a capital C if you use a small C it's not going to work it won't be recognized but as you can see in the viewport now my cap has been given this material because it has this hidden material selection tag which we can call up using the command C1 and also we can also use an, an extra material and we can call that R1 which then gives that material to the fillet object. And as we all know, they all have two uh, caps. So to get the second cap, you would just literally call this C2 and R2 to get the second caps and bevel. But then how do I do that on a primitive object when uh, I don't have um, the ability, that same ability? So basically all we do is we use a correction deformer. And we take the correction deformer, drop it inside the cylinder, and straight away you can see I've got access to the, that primitive object's actual polygons, and edges, and points. So we go back to polygon mode, and I select all of my caps, and what I can do, see if I drop a, a, a material now, it's not going to show up. But if I hit V to call up my head up display, I say set selection, which is the exact same way you would normally call up a selection on a polygon object anyway. Now all I do is if I drag these up to the top and with the material tag selected in the attribute manager, I'll just drop in my polygon selection tag into the selection field and all of a sudden the polygon selection from the correction deformer is transferred over to the primitive as you can see now in the viewport so if I can I can do that with any selection in fact I can do it in any any order as well if I just say set selection uh, drag myself a new material drag my selection up to the primitive object select my material tag and in the attribute manager drop my selection tag but as you can see, we have a small problem in that it's overwriting the red cap. That's because we've created a material selection and then moved it and then created another one. So what it does, or Cinema automatically does, it gives it the same name, which is polygon selection. So all we have to do is give that a different name and make sure our material tag actually knows we've changed the name and all of a sudden you can now see in the viewport multiple selection sets on a primitive object. Now I hope you like this tip and there will be many more to follow. Bye bye.